Hello, Farmhouse family. This is a video that I've been so looking forward to because I absolutely love the fall. I love fall. I do love winter too. We're almost there. We're at the beginning of September, so we just have a few more weeks until we officially, you know, come into the fall season. However, when you are a content creator, you have to do things in advance because, you know, we get the comments, oh my goodness, you know, it's not fall yet, but you know what? When you do this, you just, you gotta be ahead of the game. So, I am ready for all, I'm ready for the sweaters, I'm ready for just the pumpkin coffee, I'm ready for everything. Um, so we had done a little Walmart, um, fall Walmart video where we, they didn't have like a ton of stuff, but I, I went ahead and recorded that. We'll do a little Walmart fall haul. And then um, my hubby and I are gonna go to Hobby Lobby today. We're gonna get some fall footage for you in there and also do a Hobby Lobby fall haul. And then a decorate with me. And you know, we're in our new home, so it's so much fun just to have like a new canvas to work with. We have some items, some furniture, you know, that's the same, but it's a lot different than where we were before. So I am super excited about that. So we're gonna do that decorate with me. And then we are also gonna do something else. We are going to make a scent pot. So basically what that is, is something that fills your house with whatever custom scents that you want. So let me explain. If you have seen my grocery hauls, we and we have our food storage room, and I've talked about not wanting to waste food, this is something that is so fantastic where you can use, um, for example, we have lemons, oranges, and apples, a couple of them, that are kind of not on the, on the unedible or inedible? Inedible side, honey? Inedible. Inedible side. <laughs> Just trying to use the right words. Um, so you put this all together and we have a mini crock pot and it's just like a natural way to fill your home with awesome fall scents. All the cozies and the yummies. I am so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> anyway, so in this video, we are going to show you the Walmart, the Hobby Lobby, decorate with me, the scent pot. We're doing it all. And you guys come along, it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's I go. I forgot to mention, I'm gonna take you back to a Walmart little trip that we did. This was before Halloween came out because in the video I say that Halloween hasn't come out yet, but of course now it has since we are at the beginning of September. So here was our trip back at Walmart earlier, like what? About a month ago. About a month ago. All right, friends, so they don't have any Halloween out yet, which is not surprising at Walmart, um, but they do have some fall decor available. Um, lots of pumpkins. It's like everything's pumpkins. Pumpkins everywhere. I like those stacked ones on the bottom down there. Those are $11.84. And then you've got your little hay bale situation or straw got some scarecrows honestly you could probably get something like that at the dollar store um, but look at these like velvet pumpkins those are pretty those are ten dollars a piece they come in like a light green an off-white black and orange and I'm kind of thinking for our mantle I really like these picks with the acorns and also the leaves and these are all picks as well so i'll just scan through here and they're all 98 cents a piece so that's pretty nice and then just down here they just have a bunch of scarecrows and then the the straw bales we are on our way to hobby lobby and i'm telling y'all i know we haven't officially reached fall yet but you know, I look at the trees and some of the trees like at the top, you can tell that they are changing a little bit to, you know, some lighter green. There's some oranges look, right there, <laughs> right there. Y'all see that? 
Look, I can see it. I can tell we are headed to fall. Look, we're getting ready to come up on a bunch of trees right here. Look, this is, these are the things that excite me, okay? All right, see that? There's a light one right there, right there. Look, you can see it. It is turned to fall right there. I see fall, honey. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I see fall. All right, we are in the Hobby Lobby. We're in that little section up front before you actually enter. We just got a bunch of scarecrows here, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I am a fan of this. That is one big, great Charlie Brown pumpkin situation. So let's move in closer to the price tag. $149.99, but hey, it's 40% off. Look how small that bench looks next to it. That's kind of funny. Y'all, I love these little velvet pumpkin situations here, but I don't know what's getting ready to happen, but something's getting ready to happen. So let me show you. I mean, we got boxes up real, real high. This must be all the Christmas stuff. Look at this, look at this. Nobody can get through. <laughs> but I'm kind of thinking about these pumpkins. I might have to pick up some pumpkins. Now, I'm not into yard stakes, but certainly they have all your yard staking needs. <laughs> if you're into it, they go all the way down. Boy, if you need a pumpkin, you're going to find a pumpkin because there's every kind of pumpkin and every color, size, texture. But it does look like, too, I mean, just as they bring out the fall stuff, there's um, the Thanksgiving as well because we got some turkeys down here laying on their backs. <laughs> Something that I never decorate with, but if you're interested in it, it's here. <laughs> I can't do the, I can't do the straw bales. Just too messy for me. There's Mr. Joey. <laughs> All right, we got an aisle with more pumpkins, but I just have to like show you this one. I thought that was really interesting. It's like a pumpkin that's laying on its side. Let's see. Oh, $22.99. It's not that interesting, but it is 40% off, so that's good. A whole lot of pumpkins. All right, again, the 40% off. I'm kind of thinking that this may look nice over our gray couch as a little accent for the fall. So it's $25.99 plus 40% off. I might. We might get this. We'll have to I've see. just never been into them, but you may be. The gnomes, they got a whole, they got a whole family village of gnomes. All right, I'll get a price for you. Let me see. Oh, honey, can you grab that price? $14.99 plus 40% off. All right, there you go for your gnome needs. All right, these are not necessarily my taste, but I think that they're interesting. Um, the fabric that they used, I think that's really interesting. I haven't seen that before. And they're $4.99 plus 40% off. All right, I just came across these, like if you do a autumn themed or fall themed tree, these are like velvet, off-white and like a rust color. They're so pretty, but we don't do that for our decor, but they're $10.99 with and then plus the discount i mean any kind of fall picks that you need y'all uh, amazing now this is what this is how i like to decorate i like to fill in spots with picks and just make it look really full and really lush like that's my favorite way to decorate whether it be fall or for christmas all right i'm just going to show you some pillows here now I'm really trying to stay away from Christmas stuff because that's for another video, but they have a bunch of different kinds of pillows and the front door mat. All right, so here's a lot of the fall signs and we also have some pictures here. I really like this and this here. I like the copper colors a lot. And lots of beautiful pictures. God, that's really pretty too a lot of fall garland here. This is actually a great price, $8.99 for this long fall garland with the 40% off. 
we've got some like of the sweater kind of pumpkin garland and then more felt this is really pretty I'm not a huge in your face fall <laughs> decorator but still really really cute and then if you just like these are only $5.99 for the wooden beads I can't see how long they are can you yeah. all right Mr. Joey's checking on the length there six feet. Six feet. They're six feet long. Thank you, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. And of course at Hobby Lobby they have like, oh my gosh, babe, look at this. I love this. <laughs> oh my gosh. We could get this for Jay's. <laughs> he takes a weightlifting class at school. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. I love that. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Look, feast mode instead of beast mode. And then of course you've got some hair bows and some, you know, what would it be without a pumpkin pie headband or a turkey headband? That is so funny. So here's some more pumpkins with an interesting design. So these are like dried flowers here for $14.99 that are made to look into a pumpkin. I think that is so neat. I love that. I really think that I should get this hat. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You got it. All right, so I'm, I'm here for it, okay? Like these little mushroom little toadstool situations. So we have green velvet, there's like a gold and an orange, and then they have them in like a metal look like a little grouping here. I think that is so cool. I'm not really into the wicker ones, but I like that. That's really cool. All right, they have all kinds of plates here with different animals. Oh, these are really pretty. I have plenty of glasses. I don't need any more. How much? Oh, $8.99. I mean, you think it's kind of pricey, but it's really heavy and beautiful. Beautiful glass there. All kinds of mugs. Oh, these are little um, placeholders for Thanksgiving. That's super cute. We have some hand towels here and oven mitts. Let me back you up a little bit. Measuring cups, super cute. So Robert Stanley, he's a brand that's here and I like a lot of his stuff. Super cute. I'm just gonna take y'all down here. I love this. I, I love copper. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. $26.99. I mean, imagine that on your table for Thanksgiving. I love it. Do not microwave. All right, this cracks me up, guys. They say these are miniature <laughs> mugs. Y'all know that that's a Thanksgiving shot glass. Hush. That's what that is right there, Hobby Lobby. Y'all, I don't need any more mugs, but this is a nice, big old, fat coffee mug. Let's see how many ounces. 20.4 ounces for $10.99 plus the discount. But I have too many mugs. We don't need more mugs. All right, they have a lot of like jugs and canisters. There's a cornucopia. We actually, I don't think we have it anymore, but we used to have this. Um, and I really do like, again, when I say I like something, a lot of times it's the Robert Stanley line. This candlestick is so pretty like super heavy glass like an amber color and that's special but coming down here they have like a soap dispenser and this is glass and it kind of looks what well, looks like leaves or like sweater material and it's 5.49 plus the 40 percent off and of course they have a huge selection of the fall scented candles and i just smelled this one ginger spice muffin and it smells like a dream let's see $12.99 I may have to get this but does it smell if it's not really lit <laughs> no wait does it have a timer on it it doesn't say see if it doesn't have a timer on it it's like bye like I just don't have time to turn things on enough and remember yeah I don't see that it has a timer okay well never mind on that but it does smell amazing absolutely Listen up tightly and closely. If you see these at your Hobby Lobbies, they both smell freaking phenomenal. And they are Woodwick. Hold on, babe. Woodwick. 
Oh, <laughs> they're gonna need that Dramamine again. I always tell them they need Dramamine when they watch my videos. They're $24.99 each plus the 40% off, which y'all know it. candles are crazy expensive. So that's really not that bad of a price, but they smell freaking phenomenal. And they're totally different, their smells, but they would meld together. Melt together, honey, it's wax. All right, now we're in the section where they have like the paper plates and cupcake holders for the parties and stuff like that. They have super cute, I like the color scheme that they're going with this year, not so in your face with the bright orange. Y'all, I am such a sucker for copper colored things. And these are, how many? 10 bowls for $3.99 plus the 40% off. I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and get some of these. All right, y'all, listen up. I just got the tea from the Hobby Lobby employee. <laughs> um, so I found out that Okay, so fall is 40% off. And I was like, well, why is Christmas 50% off and fall is 40% off when fall stuff is before Christmas? And she said that fall stuff will remain 40% off until after fall. And that Christmas won't go back to 40%. It will always be 50% off. So that lady was awesome for telling me that. So that basically means, because I was like, is this fall stuff going to be discounted as we get closer? And she said, it's all going to be 40% off until it goes on like 60% off after the season. So I feel like that is super duper information because I don't like paying for more than what we need to pay for. But it's good to know too that the Christmas 50% off isn't just like you know, you better buy it now kind of thing. So awesome tip. Thank you, Hobby Lobby employee. It was a good shopping trip. It was good. It was good. All right, so we are gonna get into this Walmart haul first. Didn't get quite as much as at Walmart, um, but it's good nonetheless. Okay, so first I'm gonna go with the picks. I love purchasing picks for fall decor and for Christmas decor. I just love to like fill in like the tops of shelves or mantles or whatever. So I am just going to show you the variety that I got. Now we did get some picks at Hobby Lobby as well and they are cheaper at Walmart but the ones at Hobby Lobby are a little bit more high end. Every time I start recording an animal starts drinking water. They, they feel like they have to hydrate. See there goes mama kitty. <laughs> okay, so I picked up one, two, three, four, five of these picks. I wanted to kind of say, after I, after I went to Hobby Lobby, I was like, I kind of want to stay away from this kind of pick um, because I'm trying to mix it up rather than like just fall leaves, you know, but I am glad that I got these. Um, I'm sure to use them somewhere. But these, all the picks that I'm going to show you from Walmart were 98 cents. So I got five of these. And then, sorry. <laughs> I picked up three of these. Were these 98 cents? I guess they were. Yeah. Okay. So I like this a lot. It kind of has like that sage leaf and whatever that is. And a little pumpkin. It's just like a, it's not a velvet pumpkin. It's just like a matte plastic pumpkin but I really do like those I have an idea of where I'm gonna put these so I got three of those and then I got similar ones but in a different color so same thing different color got three of those and lastly I picked up five of these they're just little acorns with a little uh, pine cone with some gold sparkle. I'm not a huge, or I'm not really a big at all, um, glitter fan because it makes a mess, but this is very minimal, so we'll be okay. <laughs> so got those. And the last thing that I picked up at Walmart was this. I just wanted to stick with traditional as far as the wreath went, and I thought this was super pretty. It's very like full, you know. 
think it looks really, really nice. Um, I like the the pumpkins that they used and the design. I think they look really nice. I don't like, I'd like a nice full wreath, but the great thing is, is if you have a wreath like this and it starts falling into bits and stuff, you can always stick picks inside of the wreath, you know, to give it a little bit more volume. But I think this is really pretty. It's going to look really nice on our front door. You can see the back of it. So this wreath was $24.97. Super happy with it. Okay, so that is our Walmart haul. Let's get into the Hobby Lobby. All right, the Hobby Lobby haul is up next. Definitely picked up a lot more there. Um, our total, let me grab the receipt, was $156.95. Now, I'm just going to read you the price that's on the price tag because I'm not going to say 40% off, 40% 40, 40 off because I don't want to sound like a broken record. Everything that we purchased was 40% off the price that I'm going to tell you that it was, okay? So let's do this, y'all. Now, I am a sucker for some copper. I just love copper. So went ahead and picked up this sign. I absolutely love it. It says Farm Fresh Autumn Harvest. It's backwards for you guys. And this was $29.99 originally, okay? Let me put this down. I'm thinking that might go behind our stove top, our gas range, I should say. Um, I, there's some places and I'm going to show you before I decorate or before you decorate with me. Um, I'm going to show you some places that I want to focus the fall decor on. Um, but anyway, we're just going to actually, I'm going to show you this stuff first because this isn't really decor, but I thought it was really neat. And you know, you also saw it when we were in the store. So again, sucker for copper. <laughs> Um, these are 10 count large plates. So I thought we could use these for Thanksgiving. Okay. I know some of y'all get out your finest china and stuff, but we have kids in the family and we like easy cleanup. And I think that these are so pretty. So they're just white, um, with the copper color around the edge and you know, it does dip down here. So it's not like perfectly flat, which is just wonderful. So we picked up two, we'll probably, that's 20 total. And that's probably about how many people we'll have or so. Oh, the price. These were, yeah, I don't know if I said it. So a 10 count, the original price $4.99. Okay. We always have a lot of desserts. <laughs> at Thanksgiving. So these are square bowls and I can't tell, I think they're plastic, which is even better because I'm looking at the back. See the back of these are white and you can tell they're paper. I'm trying to see if it says plastic, but the back of these are, oh, it says hand wash only. So they're definitely plastic, right? Um, but I just love that copper color. I feel like that's just so warm and pretty. So the, before the discount, $3.99 on those, and it's a 10 count as well, but I got three of them. I guess we thought we were gonna have 10 extra guests for dessert than for dinner, but whatever. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> okay, and we might as well just keep with that beautiful copper theme and picked up, so this is a 24 count, so it's eight of each cutlery, so the forks, the spoons, and the knives. So I thought that was really, really nice to have. Um, you know, it's like we're using disposable stuff. However, it still is like a step up rather than just using like a Dixie plate, you know? So we picked up a couple of those. Um, maybe I picked up three of them. I haven't even looked yet. But anyway, I think that's so pretty. Copper on copper on copper. And we will have, so we have our farm table from the farm. And we have one leaf in it now, but we have another leaf to make the table even longer. But for Thanksgiving, we always put out an extra table anyway. So the last thing for our Thanksgiving, I got this tray. It was $3.49 before the discount. And it's like light as air. <laughs> so this is not for your turkey because you're probably gonna have a mess if you do that. So I'll probably use this for like a dessert, like for a cookie tray or something, some ginger molasses cookies perhaps, 
I have a video of my ginger molasses cookies and I have had people tell me that they are the best cookies they've ever made and I agree, <laughs> they're amazing. All right, you know what, we are gonna stick. We're gonna stick with the copper thing. Okay, I had to pick this up, okay? I think this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I feel like this could be for decoration, if you have some foliage to come out the top, but also you can use it for, you know, Thanksgiving, for uh, iced water, something like that, lemon water. The price before the discount is $26.99. And like I mentioned in the store, Robert Stanley, this is part of his collection. And I just, most of his stuff, I just really, really do appreciate. He has really nice stuff. So that'll look nice with the, I gotta sneeze. Oh, I had a sneeze coming on. I was going away. Sorry. <laughs> Real life. Woohoo. Um, I thought it would look really nice with this copper color of the tableware, if you will. All right, so that was, yeah, $26.99 before the discount. I wanted to, you know, I'm trying to add a little of the fall color into our living room because we don't have any, like, a, autumnal, one of my favorite words, colors in our living room. So we are going to kind of add this. I'm going to add this to the gray couch because a lot of, um, you know, what you're gonna see and the ones from Walmart um, do have, the picks have orange in them. So this is just another way to kind of tie that in. But I think this, you know, it's not like the thickest blanket in the world, but it's nice. It's, I mostly got it because of the colors. I really like the colors a lot. So this is kind of like an off-white here. And then this is, it is brown, but it gives a little gray too, especially right here. So I think it's gonna look really nice on the gray couch. Um, and it just, oh, it has fringe, cause I can't tell that it does in this packaging. So it says check throw with fringe. And this was $25.99 before that 40% discount. All right, I'm excited to put that on the couch. I think it's gonna look really nice. All right, move it on. Sorry about the plastic bag sound. Oh boy, didn't realize. Okay, got things that are wrapped up. So let me unwrap them for you. Okay. This is kind of like a copper, it's showing copper a lot on camera, but it's more gold than copper, I feel like in, you know, person. $5.99 before the discount. I just love it. I just think it's really pretty, um, kind of like elevated because it's um, kind of like metallic looking. I think it's really pretty. All right, now I do know what the, I, I do know what this is and I showed you these in the store. Let me just unwrap it. Get both of these out here. So as I said in the store, I am a huge fan, sorry, all the noise. I'm a huge fan of wood wick candles. I love when one is lit and you can hear like the little, you know, crackling sounds like that makes me so happy. I, it's again, the little things. I, I say that to you all the time. It's the little things, but I'm serious. Like that's what I appreciate, you know? Um, so Starting off with these candles, before the discount, they are $24.99, but I mean, just starting with the top, just that extra element of detail here with the pumpkin and then the maple leaf. So I just think these are absolutely beautiful. So let me just take the lid off. Like I'm like, you can smell them, right? <laughs> sure you can. So you can see that woodwicks now i have hiccups we're having all kinds of <laughs> we are having all kinds of fun okay so i'm just going to read this to you because uh before i was in the store um this one is called harvest no heartland harvest and i even have my glasses on having a hard time reading this says with notes of citrus zest cinnamon brown sugar sweet vanilla and maple syrup drizzle. Amen to that. I mean, that's what it smells like. That's the front of it. So you can see it's beautiful, right? 
And I do love that it's frosted. You know, um, you can get that buildup of black on the inside of candles. I feel like wood wick does burn a little bit cleaner than the wick candles as far as leaving that residue. But just a little trick is if you get like a paper towel and put some rubbing alcohol, not rubbing apples, rubbing alcohol on it, it will just wipe right off instantly. So I do that. Now, the next one is Plentiful Harvest with notes of creamy pumpkin, nutmeg, clove. Oh my, what's that word? Guac wood and warm vanilla bean here. I'll let you look at this and it's even backwards. So that's gonna be even more fun, okay? I've never heard of that kind of scent or ingredient before. Oh, it's everything. You know, smells for me with cooking, with this kind of thing, it's just like can be so nostalgic and just give you those warms and fuzzies. I love them so much. But this would be a great gift because it's just so pretty on the outside itself. So anyway, candles, got it. All right, we're gonna move on to the next. Y'all, I'm having so much fun. This is like my jam. I just love, 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 love fall. I love, listen, when I wake up in the morning, my eyes open, it's a good day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to say, you know, I, I don't like just live for fall and I'm depressed the rest of the year. It's just exciting when it comes around, you know? Okay. So let's go over some pick situations from Hobby Lobby. So, instead of having like the multicolor leaves, these are more neutral. I really like these a lot. I believe, I think I just got two of these, but we'll have to see. And these were $2.99 before the discount. And then I also picked up, let's see here. I'm trying to find the matches here. Here we go. These two, I thought those colors were really, really pretty. You know, they're more natural color, fall colors, and that's what I like. So these were also $2.99 before the discount. And then these are similar, but different. And these are $1.99, which I didn't really understand, but I'm not gonna, you know, complain about that. $1.99 before the discount, but I think they're so pretty, like realistic looking, very nice. And then I picked up two of these. And these are $2.99 before the discount. They kind of resemble like a pine cone, but they're not. They're really, really pretty. They're, they look a lot brighter on camera. Isn't that weird how that happens? Y'all, it looks like just fall flew on my table over here. <laughs> it looks so pretty. All right, and then I had to pick up a couple of these. Oh my goodness. I just think they're so cute little toadstools. Now, these are two different colors. Okay, you can tell. So this is more of an orange tone and this is more of a gold tone. Um, almost kind of like yellow maize kind of color, but these are $7.49 before the discount. The bottom feels like resin and then look, see how it's like tufted underneath so it looks like the underside of a mushroom cap. I just think that's absolutely adorable. I do wish that they had these in different heights because I like to work with different heights. Now they had ones that were grouped together like on a stand, but I kind of wish they had different heights of the ones that are separate or like single, you know what I mean? But just look underneath, so cute. So $7.49 before that discount, super cute. Love a good toadstool. Who knew I was gonna pick up a toadstool this year? <laughs> All right. Oh, and here's the last of the, these are the larger picks. So, I think I mentioned in the video that I was gonna purchase these when we were at the store. So, I picked up two of these. So, these are kind of like that velvet material. Obviously, they're pumpkins. Before the discount, $6.99. Got little springy dingy doodles here. But this is definitely like a longer pick. Here, I'll show you. This is like a basic pick and you can see how much taller, <laughs> big difference. <laughs> um, 
So that's that. And then we have one more item. Yes, one more item. Let me grab it. All right, here is the last item. I just thought that this was just beautiful. And I'll tell you why. So I love that it looks like it was just carved out of one piece of wood um, because of like the rings and like the markings that are on it. I just think it's so pretty. And we have a lot of natural elements in our decor in this house. So I felt like this would go super easy. And y'all, I'm a huge fan of pumpkins. I love pumpkins. I really, really do. So this made me super happy. I mean, you can just, as I hold it and look at the kitchen behind us, like you can tell it's going to go. So that is our haul. Oh, did I tell you the price? I'm so sorry. $19.99 before the discount, which I think is a great price for that because it's very heavy. It's solid. Um, so what I'm going to do next before we actually start decorating, I wanna show you the areas that I wanna focus on before you know we start adding to it, just so you kind of get an idea of what we may be going for. Of course, here. I forgot something. So before we do that, <laughs> I have fall decor from our previous house, and I wanted to go through that first before we do, before I show you the different areas. So I'm gonna show you what we already have as far as fall decor goes. That doesn't mean I'm going to use all of it. This is a new house. It's a new canvas. So who knows? I'm going to go grab um, our previous fall decorations real quick. All right. So I have my box here of our previous fall decor. And y'all, let me tell you, when we sold our house in like less than 24 hours and purchased this one, um, we had to pack fast. So I don't even remember what we have, anything like that. It's just one box, but we did in our farmhouse, we decorated it more farmhouse style. And, you know, I'm not going to do that this year. And anything that I don't want, you bring it to school and you let, you let the folks just take whatever they want, you know, donate it. Okay, so I do like this. I have this pick, like a natural kind of wheat looking pick here. We're literally going through this box. I don't know what's in here. Okay, I remember this. We had a bunch of these. I'm not gonna be using these. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Anything that I don't want, I'm just sticking it to the side. Okay, this is like, who knows what's happening. All right, <laughs> hold on. Woo, got all kinds of stuff. All right, so apparently I had a lot of fall leaves in here. Y'all, I'm trying not to make this video too long, but you know how it goes with the farmhouse table. Okay, these are cool little picks. I think that's nice, okay? If I use them, I use them. If I don't, we'll donate. This is the same thing, but in like beige, but apparently, um, apparently Halloween was decorated after and we used some spider webs. <laughs> so I have to remove those, but those aren't real spider webs. Those are fake spider webs. Trust me, I would not be grabbing it like that. <laughs> if those were real spider webs, I'm not a huge fan of spiders. Okay, next. Okay, so we've got a couple more of these. Oh my goodness gracious, what a mess. Okay, got a couple more of these. Fine. Okay, so here's something else that I probably won't. Um, oh, there has to be somebody with an M, the last name M. <laughs> we'll have to figure out who it is. Oh, I know somebody. I know who to give it to at school. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give that away. Another one of these pumpkins. Um, then we have some white pumpkins, which are fine. Just little white plastic pumpkins. Oh yeah, I remember these. I, I don't know, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. I do like the color. I'm on the fence. So we'll see if we can use those or not. This is the same thing, but in a beige color. And it has like glitter on the bottom of it for some reason. Oh, we do still have this. We saw these at Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna give this away to somebody. Um, oh, I remember this, and I do like this. I'm gonna, 
You know what? I really like this. So this, where did I even get? Do you know what? I just said I really like this. And I just looked on the bottom and it's that Robert Stanley <laughs> brand again. Isn't that something? This would go really pretty on my office desk. That would be really cool. So we're going to keep that. Um, oh my goodness. Y'all, where's the other one? <laughs> It's not even the same one because this one, no, wait, is it? Oh my gosh. I guess my taste hasn't changed. This is like more of, they're very similar. This is more gold. This is like more copper looking. <sighs> Two's better than one, I suppose. It's like so funny how you just forget, you know? All right, this we'll have to see. It's just like a little, it's, I didn't, I remember this. I didn't use this as a wreath. I used it to go around a centerpiece for a candle. So we'll just see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not going to, I'll give this one away. It says autumn blessings. Style changes. It's okay. You know, Let's see glitter pumpkin. Somebody else wants that, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Another one of these. Okay. We have another one of these squishy pumpkins that I'm not sure about, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Okay, I know this is from the dollar store. I know it's backwards. Autumn, falling leaves, pumpkin pie, happy fall, hot apple crisp. No, cider, because I can read and family and friends. So we'll see if somebody at school wants that. Oh, okay, so we're not ready for this. We're not ready for this because it's actually Halloween. So cute, it's scary. Do any of those babies look familiar? Oh my gosh, my heart. Oh, oh, oh. That needs to go in the Halloween decor box. That's okay, it happens. All right, we've got another one of these picks with the wheat. This is like, it's like Christmas, even though it's fall. Okay, this is another one I'm going to give away. Thankful and blessed. Okay, but you guys can see it's like more farmhousey. You can tell. I'm just changing my style a little bit. I'm just changing my style. And here's another one I'll give away. Hello, fall. Somebody's going to be thrilled with these decorations. I'll tell you that right now. All right. That is Halloween. Some of this is in the wrong box. Okay. It looks like we have some more like of these. They're like foam pumpkins. And then I have a lot of, looks like leaf garland, which I doubt I'm going to use. That's another pumpkin. I'm on the fence about these. I think they're interesting. These were actually from the dollar store, but I, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give these away. But look, they're glittery. You're not, it's just not picking up much of the sparkle. You know what? I should have this overhead light on since, you know, I'm recording a video. Um, but on the back, there's a clip. So you can like clip this onto garland or whatever. And then this is like a pretty color. But I, I'm, I'm staying away from the glitters. Staying away from the, just a little, staying away a little bit from the glitters. Okay. What else do we have here? Okay, so I'll give this away. There's no picture in it. I don't think I ever used this. Um, kind of like a farmhouse little pumpkin picture frame. I love, I, mean, I love to give stuff away like that. So it'll make somebody else really happy. I mean, it's really nice stuff. Okay, what else do we have? Cause I am looking at a big, right now I'm looking at a big box of leaf garland. Oh, here's another pumpkin. It's like a wooden pumpkin. That's gonna be given away. Farmhouse. Let's see. Oh, we've got another little sign, Beyond Blessed. We will bless somebody else with that. Um, I think the rest is just garland. 
Yes. Whew. A little dusty. A little itchy. <laughs> and I have like leaves all over the place. Okay. So that is a lot of fall decor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stuff that I know I want to give away into a box to get that organized. And then um, on a different day, it's not going to be today because I have to film a recipe right now for you all. Um, tonight, excuse me, I have hiccups again. Tonight we're having sweet and sour meatballs. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. But the, listen, everybody hiccups, right? Sweet and sour meatballs over jasmine rice and sauteed vegetables. So I have to make that video after I get this situated. I just want to get it organized so I can, tomorrow I'm hoping to record the decorate with me. Oh, I told y'all I was going to take you around the house to show you what I wanted to focus on. So let's do that. Woo! Look at the craziness. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get this all organized, but I do want to do something. I want to focus on fall on this table because y'all, that table is so pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so the other place, take your Dramamine. I'm warning you. Here we go. I want to focus on is this fireplace hearth and mantle. So we keep this up anyway, this garland. I think it looks so pretty, but I, I'm thinking that I want to add some of the fall picks into it. I think that would look really, really nice. All right, let's go on here. Sorry, I got a message. I got a kitty cat. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> so this is where I want that plaid orange and gray blanket to go. I think that would look really pretty there. Also want to focus on some fall decor here and definitely here. Hello, you see me in the mirror. Um, I think that would look super, super pretty right there. All right, y'all wanna see Amber as a younger kid? There she is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, maybe some fall decor here. Oh, please excuse this. That is actually Halloween, that is not fall. So we're gonna come out here and another place I want to focus is this front table area. And then outside, of course, we're going to switch that wreath out. And of course, the farmhouse headquarters may have to focus on that too. We're going to have to get you a fall bandana, sir. Look at him. He, I got a grooming appointment coming up. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. So... I believe, oh, and then the kitchen, I would, bless you, goodness gracious, and then the kitchen, I would love to do some, you know, a little bit of fall decor here and on the counters. Y'all, it's a crazy mess in here right now. I'm thinking about putting that copper sign, like, right back here. I think that may look nice. All right. All right, friends, let's get started on this scent pot. So, I have a little miniature crock pot well, the actual crock pot is over here, but here's the insert. Um, and this is such a simple and natural way to just fill your home with whatever kind of custom fragrance you want. So I like to use these with fruits that are kind of on their way out. <laughs> um, these apples are a little soft. Um, I have some lemons and some little... What are these things called? Mandarin oranges? Something like that. And there's a regular orange. Okay. Now, also, I have cinnamon sticks, whole cloves, and I got uh, ground cinnamon as well. Pumpkin pie spice, allspice, and vanilla. Now, you can do whatever you want. You could add nutmeg or just whatever you have on hand. Um, you're just going to put all this together, add a little water and just let it do its thing all day. Um, it's so nice because you know, it's, it's the crock pot. We're, we're not, we're not over the stove using gas or, you know, worried about, um, you know, something being on the stove for a while and you just put it in your little crock pot. And if you, if you don't have a small one, you could use a big one as well. But anyway, so all I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna just start cutting up all this fruit. And I'm gonna just place it right in. Um, if I don't have enough room for this guy, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the other fruit first because this is a pretty small crock pot. Oops, that one had a sticker on it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're not eating it, so it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's just a nice way to use things so they don't go to waste. Yeah, these are like really, really soft. <laughs> like my knife is bare, it's like mushing it. Okay, I'm gonna cut these apples. It's so nice, you don't have to like, you know, peel anything or worry about seeds. You're just throwing it in, you know? Um, and it smells good already. Okay, here goes our apples. All right, I'm not gonna use that big orange. We won't have enough room. Let's just use this. We'll just eat that big orange today. Okay, let me bring this in a little closer. All right, so that literally took, what, a minute to cut all this stuff up? Okay, so then I'm gonna add the rest. We've got some whole cloves, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some in. I mean, it's different because we're not actually like eating it. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter about taste here. And I'm gonna add a couple of cinnamon sticks. Actually, I'm just gonna add one because we're also putting cinnamon in here. Some cinnamon, just pour it everywhere. <laughs> I just love this because I don't like things to go to waste and it's such a nice way to use things. All right, pumpkin pie spice. Or if you even have like spices that are on their way out as well, you know, you could use those. All right. Lastly, I'm gonna add some vanilla. And now I'm going to take this to the sink and just put a little bit of water in the bottom. There you go. All right, you don't need too much water because obviously the juices are gonna come out of the fruits. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into my crock pot. Let's see, no, it doesn't reach. Let me turn y'all a little bit. There you are. Okay, so I'm just going to put my insert here. I have it on high, at least for now. I'll just stick the lid on and that's it. And it's going to smell so good. You're gonna want an apple pie after you have this sitting for a while. But anyway, I love walking in the house or walking into a room and just smelling this kind of stuff. Oh, I absolutely love it. And you know, there's a lot of people that have sensitivities to candles or plug-in things or whatever. So this is just a really nice natural way um, to bring some fragrance into your home. And you can customize it with whatever scents you like. All right, let me know if y'all give this a try. I mean, all I have to say is, wow, this smells uh Amazing. Oh my goodness. Looks kind of yummy too. I ain't gonna lie. Guys, this is so, and you can leave the lid off if you want to, um, but it still smells amazing with the lid on. Oh my gosh. I wish y'all could smell it. Here, I'll send it through. <laughs> anyway, give this a try. This is, and it's so nice, you know, just you're like, what do I do with this stuff? Or just throw, you know, fruit away. This is such a perfect thing to do. And you could do this any time of year. And it just, it is absolutely amazing. I've seen other people do these around the holidays and they even put like, a, you know, like a Fraser fir branch in here to get that like Christmas tree smell. Oh my goodness, it's so great, guys. All right, moving on. You know, he decides to get hungry and eat. <laughs> when I start recording. <laughs> anyway, I am going to probably do most of this as a voiceover, which I'm not used to doing, but we have the folks in our backyard today working on our deck. So it's, 
it's not loud at the moment except for Kodiak chewing his food, but it has been really loud. So um, these are the decorations that we're working with. Doesn't it just look pretty there on the table even though it's a hot mess everywhere? All right, let's get this fall decor started. Woo! All right, and since I'm doing a voiceover, it's still crunching over there. I am gonna put a spooky Halloween movie or fall movie in the background and I've got my nice hot coffee. I am ready to do this. Let's go everybody. Y'all, the first thing I had to do was add this copper sign. I absolutely love the sign and I could not wait to put it on the backsplash behind our gas stove. So y'all, I just kept trying with these different picks and then the garland around that treat jar right there. And I just kept changing my mind, but you will see the results at the end of this video. No worries. I wanted to give this corner of the kitchen some decor because there just wasn't a whole lot over there and I just love to make that menu shine. I am proud of the recipes that we get to and that we're blessed to have every week and I just wanted to show it off and I absolutely love the way it turned out. So just something so simple as adding a pick to each end of the sign just brought it all together so much more. I just wanted to make sure that I fluffed them out a little bit first, but I just love the way that this turned out. I was absolutely so excited to add that orange checkered <laughs> blanket to this couch. And I know it's something so simple, but I just thought that it would tie together so nice and it really did. I love it. So this piano area was definitely one of the more difficult areas for decorating. I always found this to be the easiest area to decorate when we lived on the farm, but for some reason, I was just having such a difficult time decorating it on this day. So I just went back and forth a few times, added things, took away things, um, made sure that the picks that I put on the piano were stable because y'all know we have three kitty cats and wanted to make sure that they didn't have a new fall toy. Um, but in the end, as you will see, when I give you a tour it turned out just fine this was one of the areas that I really looked forward to decorating the most I just love how all the decor on this table is really neutral and that's why I wanted to add those kind of sage colored picks as well and y'all let me tell you something Filming with one hand and decorating with the other is not easy. I hope you all do not get like nauseous watching this video. I did the best that I certainly could, but this table definitely turns out beautiful in the end. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize when I'm doing this voiceover. They are for sure working on the deck in the back of our house and they are shoveling gravel right now. So it's just extra special and loud and you can probably hear Kodiak walking around right now. <laughs> His nails hitting the floor. So anyway, sorry about the background noise. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. As you can see, we added the blanket to the right side of this bench and I just thought that it looked so beautiful. Just adding some simple touches like these pumpkins to this existing bowl and then adding a pumpkin on the tray looks so good. All right, so now we are working on that mantle. And let me tell you, I took a little time to work on that mantle because I just, I'm not a huge fan of things being perfectly symmetrical. Um, but I thought that, okay, with the centerpiece, I would do the pumpkin and then add some foliage and some acorns to the outside, but then I thought the leaves, I could make that more asymmetrical. 
And then again, with these picks, I just love them with the wood. Oh my goodness. And then here I am adding some leaves to the garland. I just love the way that it turned out. All right, so here is that garland kind of wreath looking thing. It looked like a wreath. And I just thought, let's just put that around the bottom of the Lazy Susan of that dish. All right, and here I am switching out the wreaths on the front door, which makes a humongous difference. I just love the way that it looks. Now here, I'm just kind of showing you, I cut the light color leaves off of those multicolor leaves, and then I added it to this um, table in the front, and it looks so good. And then, of course, here we are adding some foliage or picks to that picture that I just love that we picked up from Hobby Lobby. All right, the centerpiece table dilemma. <laughs> dilemma. Okay, so I love the way this looks on the table, but I feel like it, we need a table tray. I feel like these need to go to table tray and maybe like, cause you know, honey, I like to group in threes. So maybe something right there, boop, <laughs> on the tray. And I wonder if that candlestick, honey, that I saw. Sorry, I'm just, I'm talking to y'all. I feel like I'm on the phone with you guys and then I'm talking <laughs> to my hubby. <laughs> anyway. We measured, we think a 24 by 18 would suffice as far as space, but the trays at Hobby Lobby are 50% off today, and we're thinking we might have to run out real quick. <laughs> Y'all, I've been decorating all day, and I still have to film this Philly cheese steak. <laughs> We've got this. <laughs> Woo! Y'all, this officially is probably going to be my longest video that I will ever post. <laughs> It just keeps getting longer and longer. Now we're on our way to Hobby Lobby. And then we were leaving our front door and I was like, this topiary is so green and the wreath is so fall looking. Now we need something for <laughs> near the front door. I just can't stop. So we're gonna look for a runner, possibly. Some, like the, tr the tray and then one small item to put on the tray so it's three things on the tray because I like odd numbers when it comes to decorating I don't like a lot of evenness so all right we're gonna I'm probably not gonna bring you guys in Hobby Lobby because this video is so long already so I better stop talking right now okay bye all right so we are gonna start decorating this table I didn't want to do a voiceover for this part only because we picked up some stuff <laughs> from Hobby Lobby. We've been back and forth to Hobby Lobby. My hubby and I, the videographer right now, um, we've been back and forth a few times. I just sometimes feel like I'm a little picky when it comes to stuff and if it, I don't feel so good about it, I return it and pick something else up. But I really wanted a traditional table runner for this table. Now this is not from Hobby Lobby. I ordered this from Amazon. Here, honey, if you wanna so I can see what it looks like close up. I believe it was $16.99 and it's, we have a long table and um, so we needed a long runner. So this is 108 inches long, um, but we're just going to kind of decorate this part together. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know if we're the same length on both sides. Let me just, I mean, as long as it's close, right? You know what? That's perfect. Okay. When we were at Hobby Lobby, we picked up, so the trays were 50% off and I, was, I looked it up and I was like, we just gonna have to go. The trays are 50% off. So this, oh no, we took the price tag off. It was, was it like $26? Uh, I think it was something like $26. Um, of course it was 40% off. That stuff used to be 50% off, but you know how things go, right? Um, now, I haven't decided if I want a caddy corner or lay straight, but either way, I'm gonna start by doing it this way. Um, also, while, while we were there, in the earlier haul, when we were showing you Hobby Lobby, I saw these candlesticks, and I just went ahead and picked it up when we picked the tray up because I just love them. 
okay? I'm gonna grab the centerpiece. I believe I already showed this on the video. Um, so this, we had this from Hobby Lobby and then these are dollar store from years ago. And then this is a little pit from Hobby Lobby here. So I'm just gonna put this together. Like when I decorate stuff like this, I just try not to think too much and kind of just let it go. <laughs> Uh, these picks are also from Hobby Lobby. I like them because, you know, sometimes with those, the bright colors, when you have orange and red and green, you know, it makes it look more artificial because that's not normally how you see trees. And I really love the neutral color of these. And then of course we picked up this wooden pumpkin from Hobby Lobby that I absolutely love. I'm trying to make this, I kind of like that sticking out there. I like that too, hold on. I got a zhuzh. Yes, see? You know, don't think about it too much. We've had this pumpkin forever, I think it was from the dollar. No, this was from Hobby Lobby because I saw them there when we went shopping. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that there. I don't like things like lined up too much. So just like this, I'm happy with this. Um, but I want to look at it catty corner. What do you think? Agreed, you think catty corner? Absolutely. Do you think it's too much catty or less kitty catty? I think it's perfectly catty. <laughs> wow. All right. Thanks, babe. Cool. All right. So, and I wanted to mention before, which I didn't mention, <laughs> this video was recorded over several days. Uh, it takes a lot of time to do decorate with me apparently because <laughs> this was my first one and i want to give a big shout out to the people that do it regularly because it it's definitely new but y'all you know i'm not going for perfection here because we just keep it real on this channel i'm not trying to make things look too pretty okay anyway this is the banister that we're working with okay now one tip that I have for you, okay? Now, everybody has their own taste and the way that they like to do things. A lot of times when you see banisters like this, people like to twist, let's say Christmas garland, for example. They like to twist and twist and twist, and then the lights might go down with that kind of thing. I think it looks a lot more elegant. Now, this is a short one, so we can't add a swoop in the middle with this kind of material but I think it looks a lot more elegant just to have it on the outside like this, okay? And you might not be able to see me. Now, this was in our Hobby Lobby haul, and we had this hanging here. I just thought that it looked too wedding-like. It's just, I, I just wasn't feeling it. Unfortunately, <laughs> we cut parts of it, like the ends of it, and so we can't return it, so Ellie will, have this for fall decor. She likes to decorate her room for the holidays. Um, so she can, this matches her room really nicely. So, honey, do you mind grabbing me? <laughs> He's gonna grab me the one that we just purchased. Um, I just felt like it was too bright and just light. These stairs are black with that dark brown banister. So we're gonna hang this up instead. Uh, and I'll show you closer up. So this was $39.99, um, and then of course it was 40% off. But, can you hold that in? Thank you, honey. Um, as you can see, it's not like, yes, the leaves are different colors, but it's not like bright red, bright this. Like it looks a little bit more, you know, in tone together and not unrealistic. So anyway, the other thing I wanna share with you, <laughs> thank you, honey is we are hanging these up y'all and i know you can have your twist ties like the plastic ones or zip ties that's what they're called what did i just say twist ties, well, twist ties that goes on bread never mind <laughs> they work too. okay they may work too that you're right they may work or pipe cleaners yeah i meant zip ties but um mr joey found these this is actually two of them put together and they're Velcro. 
and then they fit in each other and then they stay and then you just take them off. Super, super, super easy. So we are going to go ahead and hang this garland. All right, when we were at Hobby Lobby, we also picked up this garland. Y'all, I've been trying to figure out, we had purchased pumpkins that we returned. I've just been trying to figure out how I want to fall this up. <laughs> and then we found this, and I'm going to attempt to use it as garland for the topiary. I hope it works. And then, can you get a shot of that down there, babe? Maybe put that bow on the bottom, I don't know. All right. Welcome to the 2024 Farmhouse Table Fall Decor. Starting off with the wreath here and our topiary that we purchased a bow for and some garland, so pretty. Let's head on inside. All right, after entering our front door, you can see the little picks and leaves that we added to our fall decor, including a mushroom, which I absolutely love. Hello, love you guys. <laughs> and this wood wick candle that we got from Hobby Lobby. It is, let's see, what time is it, Eddie? No, oh, he's not there. Okay, it is, hold on, let me look at my watch. 7:36 in the evening so we thought that we would film this so the you know sunlight has gone down a little bit light some candles all right moving on all right we just added a little bit to the farmhouse table headquarters here <laughs> the room um the desk here we have some pumpkins that we added to that bowl as well as a gold and white pumpkin that we bought from hobby lobby and then as you saw earlier we added this fall foliage to our banister which i absolutely love this is perfect it just goes up oh the price tag is still on into our candles here and if you see the little black kitty cat perfect for fall decor <laughs> that's miss miss gypsy moon all right moving on all right, as we showed earlier, um, we added this fall-ish blanket to the couch. It has some gray accents in it and a cat on it, <laughs> so it couldn't be better. Y'all, all the animals are like wanting to get their clothes up this evening. <laughs> all right, so we just add, that just adds a touch of warmth, but I love to double layer blankets, especially knit blankets on like uh, couch corners and that kind of thing. I think it looks so just like rich and lush looking with with two blankets instead of one. Oh, sorry, kitty cat. Sorry. All right, we're going to go over this way. Take your Dramamine because you know you're watching the farmhouse table right now. Okay, we have the um, pick from Hobby Lobby. We have our candles that I did an Amazon haul on. Um, to just kind of get the lighting just right and another pick as well and then we just have our little pumpkin here which I absolutely love it's so shiny that we got from Hobby Lobby and then this is just from the Dollar Tree from years past 
and a little family photo. Mm -hmm. That was on Thanksgiving Day. I believe that was, yeah, that was last year. Now, on um, this area here, I did not add much because it is, you know, quite full already. So what I wanted to do is just add some fall leaves here. I just added a few fall leaves just to kind of tie things in. All right, and I did the same thing right here on our coffee table. We still have all the same decor, nothing different. Just added a couple or three fall leaves here. Looks really, really nice. Um, we did turn some lighting on so you guys could see a little bit better. Um, without all of the lighting on, it looks so beautiful in here with the battery operated candles. It's just so warm and cozy. I should have put the fireplace on for this. Oh my gosh, let me see if I know how to do it. All right, where's the switch? Hold on, guys, let's do this. I see a switch, hold on. Okay, something happened. <gasps> Look at that. I love it. Oh my gosh. That's so perfect for our little video. <laughs> We're going to keep it on for just a second. <laughs> we have the air conditioning on and our fireplace. It's perfect. <laughs> okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, all right. So down here we have um, those pumpkin picks that we got from Hobby Lobby. And then this little um, pick here was from the dollar store from years past. Up here, sorry, I know, drama mean. here we go. We have our mantle decor. So I have this kind of like coppery pumpkin as the centerpiece. And then I picked up these picks from Hobby Lobby and then just added some leaves. I don't like things too symmetrical. So this is pretty symmetrical here, but then I just kind of laid out the leaves and some acorns here, acorn picks randomly. I love picks. I really, really do. Um, they just really bring, like just, just fill it up. You know, they fill in empty spaces. They connect pieces together. I just love that. All right, we are gonna move on. Let me turn this fireplace off y'all because that's just being silly, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we have our fall colored um, picture on our frame TV. So it, it looks like artwork. It looks so beautiful. I love it with the fall colors on the mantle. And then we are going to come over this way. Okay, so you saw us decorate earlier with this runner. And then we have our centerpiece that we put together with the picture from Hobby Lobby. These are just from the Dollar Trees, again, from years past. And then this one pick here was from Hobby Lobby this year. And then we ended up picking this up from Hobby Lobby a couple of nights ago because I just really wanted to do a tray on this table. And then this pumpkin was from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little different looking. And this is actually from a couple years ago, and they do still have these at Hobby Lobby. Now, if you flip it around, we had a little oopsie. <laughs> so you could either think of it as just facing this way or put a vote of it. <laughs> um, we, that broke in the move. And then, of course, our wooden pumpkin here from Hobby Lobby as well. But then we also got this foliage from Hobby Lobby. And you see how it just kind of brings everything together. I love that. Again, if you are interested in this table runner that we got from Amazon, I'm happy to send that link to you personally. Just let me know. All right, we're going to go over this way. All right, we've got some scrumptious cinnamon streusel muffins in here. Oh my gosh, they look, oh, it, every time they take the lid off, it smells like <laughs> <laughs> like somebody just freshly baked them. All we did was we took some garland that was kind of like in a circle and spread it out around the bottom. And this is, if you saw my Amazon video, this has kind of like a Lazy Susan situation on the bottom. So we just put this around the outside of that. Just love it. All right, moving on. Oh, we'll just stop by here. Another candle from Hobby Lobby that we showed you. Love, love, love. And then you saw the scent pot. 
or scent crot or simmer pot. These things have a million names. I'm going to tell you something really funny right now. So I made this, let's see, I don't know, four days ago. We've been recording this video over several days and we, we like have been adding things to it and add water to it and we're just using it over and over again and it smells fantastic. Now there's going to be a point where we need to throw that away, put it down the garbage disposal, <laughs> but I just wanted to share it with you for the tour part of this video. All right, we're going to come right over here. Not much to say here. Just <laughs> just made a bunch of sugar cookies the other day, but we're coming around this step, uh, this way. And we have our Copper Farm Fresh Autumn Harvest sign. Y'all, this could be taken as, well, that's kind of farmhousey. I get it, but that copper is stunning. I absolutely love it. And I have our overhead light on and it in the evening, it just brings that, it out even more. And then all I did here was stick, look, that's all it is. Two picks, one on each side. Love, love, love it. Coming over here, we have our little utensil area where we keep our money for the week. And we have some picks right here that we got from Hobby Lobby and another little mushroom. And then this is a pick from the dollar store from years past. And y'all, that is really it. We, you know, it's not about, I didn't want it to look like fall just, <laughs> exploded in our house because I really love the way that we have this house decorated. So I just wanted to accent what we had already, kind of add to rather than make new, if that makes sense, using fall decor. So we already had this um, garland here on the mantle. So then we just accented it with fall picks and leaves and that kind of thing. And the wood down here, we already had that. We just added um, the pumpkin picks and the other little pick from the dollar store. It's just about taking what you have already and using it. And then, you know, yeah, you could go crazy and do all different kinds of things, but I love the way that we have it already. So it's just about accenting things. And then the great part about it is <laughs> you're not spending nearly as much money trying to create something completely new. So that is, that wraps up our fall decor tour. We'll just leave you at the front door <laughs> and we'll let you out here. <laughs> well, if you made it to the end of this video, boy, you're a real trooper. You're a real member of the farmhouse family. Um, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I know this was a long video. It's really hard to get everything in at once. And I could have done like separate shopping hauls, but I just really wanted it all together. Um, and just kind of take you through these days, um, and show you how we decorated and all the things that we did. It was a lot of fun to make, but it is a lot of work. And I give kudos to the people that do that, um, normally cause it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. I hope that you guys are all feeling, I know that y'all are all over the world. Oh my gosh, when I see where some of y'all are from, because I get it on my, you get this kind of information from YouTube where people are watching and I'm like, this is so wild. <laughs> Places I've never been before, um, but it's so amazing. So anyway, I just, I'm all into the warm and fuzzies with fall and winter coming up. And I know not everybody experiences those seasons where you're from, but I appreciate you sharing your time with us. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.